we've made it. The final episode of Dexter as we know it. Now, we do know Season nine's coming, but this was the end of the series as we know it. So it's Dexter Season 8, Episode 12, called Remember the Monsters. We come off the last episode where Deborah's been shot. She's on the way to the hospital. We have Dexter meet with Harrison trying to meet Hannah at the airport. When he gets there, he finds out Hannah is holed up in a bathroom because Elway is actually there and she can't come out. Dexter devises a scheme to fill a backpack full of stuff he got at the souvenir store, places it and goes and tells the, you know, the security there that, hey, this guy over here planted this bag and he looks really weird. So they go take him out. The airport is evacuated and that's when Hannah, Dexter, Harrison get away. Dexter then gets a call that Deborah has been shot. So he heads off to the airport. Hannah heads off to a hotel room. When Dexter gets there, he finds out she's been shot. A couple of interesting scenes in that moment, in that part of the show where there are some flashbacks with Dexter and Harrison being born and and with Dexter and Deborah, They kind of have a couple of moments and it was actually a really long scene with just the two of them in there. And it was very touching. And then he leaves. Little does he know that that's going to be the last time he actually sees her alive. But he leaves. And then we had Saxon, the guy who, he was the brain surgeon. He was Vogel's son. He ends up going to a veterinarian, getting stitched up because he's bleeding like crazy. And he heads to the hospital to kill Deborah. When Dexter is there, they actually, uh, Dexter sees him come in and uh, grabs a, a knife and he's going to stab and kill him in self-defense. And that's when Batista comes up and holds him at gunpoint and Saxon gets arrested. Dexter ends up leaving to go back to the police department where Saxon's being held. And what happens while he's gone is Deborah ends up having a massive stroke and she ends up on life support. And he finds out about this shortly after what I'm going to talk about next. Next is one of the coolest scenes in any episode of Dexter ever. Dexter actually poses as someone going in, in to do a, a GSR test. I don't know what that stands for on Saxon and where he's being held. And he walks in with the bag to do the test. And Saxon's like, what are you doing here? And Dexter's like, well, I'm here to kill you with this pen. And he puts a pen down on the table lined up with the other stuff. And he notates, Dexter notates where all of the cameras are in the room so that his back is to the camera. Saxon's in front. And Dexter puts the pen down. And as soon as Dexter puts the pen down, Saxon picks it up and stabs Dexter right in the shoulder. And that's when Dexter rips it out and then jams him in the neck. The guy, you know, he, he dies right there. The police come in, pull Dexter's in the back, and he's like, he looks terrified. And they pull him off. And then the next scene is him being interrogated by, well, not really interrogated, but being questioned by Batista and Quinn. And it was crazy. He's sitting in the room acting like he can't believe what happened. And both of them are like, holy crap, did Dexter really just do this? That's not Dexter. Dexter could never do something like this. And he said, I had no choice. It was self-defense. And it was kind of a humorous but really interesting dynamic in that room. The energy and the, the acting was really, really well done in that scene. That's when Dexter finds out, you know, that Deborah is not going to make it. So what he does is he ends up meeting with Hannah and dropping Harrison off with with Hannah, saying, I got to go back. And there's a hurricane coming. So what Dexter does is he goes to the hospital, taking Deborah off of life support, getting his boat, putting her in the boat, and he drives off into the hurricane. And this is almost how this episode ends, and I'll explain where that leads here in a minute. But first, I want to talk about what happens with Hannah and with with Harrison. They're on a bus. Dexter's like, I'll meet you guys later. I've got to stay here and deal with Saxon. You know, this was before they caught Saxon. I have to deal with Saxon and Deborah. So you go. I'll meet you later. She's on the bus with Harrison, and Elway is right next to her, knew where she was going. And it's on the trip to the next location where she actually injects him with some M99, some of that, uh, the dose of the stuff they give people to make them subdued, and says, you'll wake up in two cities later and I will be gone. So she's off with Harrison. Well, that's at the point where Dexter does take Deborah's body on the boat and he does dump it in the water. And then the very la one of the last scenes is you see the next day after the hurricane that Dexter's boat is destroyed out in the water and Dexter is nowhere to be found. And in Argentina or wherever it was that where Hannah went with Harrison, she reads about this in the news and she goes to get Harrison some ice cream. She is now going to be basically his mom and 
Dexter is no longer around. That leads us to the very final scene, which was the jump the shark moment where it we don't know how much time has passed, but it shows Dexter with a beard. Um, he's out in some logging community. He's a logger. And there's not a single word spoken, but he walks into this cabin area, sits down in a chair, stares right at the camera, just like that. And then it fades away. So it's kind of a weird ending to a season. Uh, I, I enjoyed it much more this time than the first time I saw it. The first time I saw it, it seemed very rushed, and it still seems rushed. I mean, they brought in Masuka's daughter in this season and did nothing with her. The last time we saw her was when basically Masuka told her to go home after smoking the pot. So it was kind of interesting, but that's how this series ended. And we're going to see where this series picks up with the revival of Dexter, which does start on November 7th. Uh, So it's actually in two days. It's November 5th today when I'm recording this, and you guys will have this up. I'm putting it up immediately, so you guys will have this to watch prior to that starting. If you know of anybody who's interested in Dexter and they're looking for some recaps, please send them to my channel. I've recapped every single episode in all eight seasons, and I will do the same thing when the new show starts also in two days. I'm looking forward to reviewing that and seeing the return of Dexter. All right, if you guys would be so kind as to like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You will be notified when I have new videos go up. I'm also going to do my feelings on the overall season here in just a little bit.